In this video, I'll show you how I created this peach animation entirely with 2D layers in After Effects. This animation is for a video I'm making for my new YouTube channel, Explanimated, where I'll be creating solutions-focused explainer videos on environmental issues. Specifically, this animation is for a video about food waste, which is a huge problem. A third of all food produced gets wasted. Most of this goes to landfill, where it emits so much methane, a potent greenhouse gas, that if food waste were a country, it would be the third largest emitter behind the US and China. Solving food waste has the potential to address multiple UN Sustainable Development Goals. The UN's goal, which we can all help to achieve, is to half global per capita food waste by 2030. The idea behind this specific animation is that while it's always better to not waste food, for all of the inedible parts, like pits and peels, compost is the way to go. I'm gonna focus on the main movements here, like how I made this look like it's 3D. And if you're interested in all of the textures and effects that I use to get this look, then comment below and maybe I can do a separate video about that. Let me show you a behind the scenes look of this project file so we can kind of reverse engineer how I created this. So this is the main comp that I rendered out. It has a background, a little vignette to kind of darken the corners there four layers for the background texture, which is just this subtle dot effect. And then this peach shadow is a duplicate of the main comp with all of the animation in it. And what I did to create this shadow right here is I added a fill effect, gave it a dark blue color, and then added a blur effect to make it soft. And then that's also set to multiply blending mode. So that's just the shadow right here. Then this peach pre-comp is where all of the main animation happens. And you can also see that I have this rotation on it, so it does one full revolution while it's animating. So you can see what that looks like. And then let's see what that looks like without that rotation. Now let's go into the Peach Precomp, and you can see that these are all the layers that make up this animation. And there's quite a few layers here, but a lot of them are really just for the stylized look of this peach. So adding the textures and effects that make it look the way that it does. So this can be a little bit overwhelming to look at and to dissect. So what I've done is I've taken out all of the textures in this comp here, and I just have the main shape layers that make up the animation. You also might've noticed that this animation is a bit slower and I've used mostly linear keyframes to animate this. And the reason I didn't adjust the keyframes and make this one like snappy and stuff is because I actually dealt with all of that in the main comp. So on this peach pre-comp, you can see that I have this time remap and the time is remapped so that the keyframes are eased. So this makes the animation go slow and then fast and then slow. So I didn't have to worry about adjusting keyframes in the actual peach pre-comp. To make these layers look like they're moving in 3D space, I animated the path property. So you can see that these are not actually 3D layers. It's all done by animating paths. I'll recreate this animation so you can see exactly how it works. First, I need a new comp. I designed the peach in Adobe Illustrator because it's easier to do that kind of thing in Illustrator versus in After Effects. Then I used a third party tool called Overlord to transfer the layers of the peach as shape layers into After Effects. You don't necessarily need Overlord to do this. You could import your Illustrator layers the traditional way and then convert them to shape layers, but Overlord saves some steps. Let's start with these three main shapes. First, I'm just going to click this little label here to color code them, and that way it'll help me keep the timeline organized. I also wanna create some guides because this is gonna be really helpful to snap the points on the path where they need to be when I'm animating the path property. If you don't see the rulers in your composition viewer, you can hit Command or Control R to bring them up. And then from the ruler, you wanna drag out a line to create a guide. Now it can be hard to know if you've dropped that exactly in the center. So if you make sure that your guides are unlocked by going up to view and then unchecking lock guides if it was checked, then right click on the guide and you can edit the position. So let's make this exactly at 1100 because that's the exact center. And then I'm also gonna bring out a guide that sits right at the top of this little dip at the top of the peach. And then also one that is at this bottom dip here. So just above the pit. Then to lock the guides to make sure that I don't accidentally touch them, I'm going to go to view, lock guides. Let's start with this main shape. So first I'm just gonna hide the pit and the cross section. Going back into the finished version, let me show you what the goal is here. So this main shape 
is going to look like it's a full peach, but actually we're gonna reveal that it's just a half of a peach. So this edge is going to start to flatten as it reveals that it's actually just a half. And then the same edge needs to come back out into a full peach shape. So that's the first move. So I'm gonna go into the layer underneath contents, main, and then path one, and I'm going to click the stopwatch for the path property. I'm gonna make all of these rotations, and I'm putting that in quotes, just last one second, and that way I can kind of keep organized. So let's move over to one second, and I wanna take this path property and select just where it says path one. If you select where it says path, it's gonna select all of the points on that path, and then if you try to move one, you move everything. So instead of selecting all the points on the path, the way that you need to select is to click off of the path and just select where it says path one. So from here, I can take one of these points and just drag it towards that center guideline. And I'm holding down shift to make sure that I don't move the point vertically, only horizontally. And it can help to zoom in. And then I'm going to take these points, the handles on the path, and just snap them so that they're vertical. And then for this bottom one, I wanna move this point in like that. And then these points, I wanna move them over to the center line. And I also wanna move them to the bottom of this little dip. So let's zoom in and then move these over like that. And then let's collapse these handles. And then move this point over, collapse the handles. And let's just double check that everything is lined up exactly with this line. All right, and let's zoom out and see how it looks. All right, so that's the first rotation. Again, rotation in quotes, because this is just animated with the path property. So now to make it look like it's rotated again, so that now we're seeing the half of the peach in the other orientation, I'm going to just make this edge of the peach full again. So I can actually just copy and paste this keyframe and now the animation will kind of, if you use your imagination a little bit, look like a rotation. For the next move, let's add in the cross section. So going back to the finished version, the cross section starts at one second and it starts as just a flat line. So basically we don't see it at all. Then it needs to expand into its full shape. So let's do that. So I'm going to go here, start the cross section by just hitting the left bracket key. And then I'm going to go to two seconds and then open up the path property and start keyframes and then go back to one second and let's just collapse this all down into this guideline. So again, select where it says path one and then drag these towards the center and collapse all of the handles too. For these top points, I wanna make sure that I bring them to this cross section here. All right, so here's what I have so far. Let's add in the peach pit. So in the first movement, it needs to be behind all these layers. And then we'll start to see it emerge here. And then starting here, it's gonna to need to be on the top of all the layers. So what I'm gonna do is hit Command or Control and then Shift D to split this layer at the playhead. And then I'll bring this layer on top. The left half of the pit shouldn't be visible right now, so let's animate the path property. So at two seconds, I'll set a keyframe to be the full peach pit, and then starting at one second, I'm gonna collapse in the left side. So here's what this looks like now. For the next move, I want it to look like the peach is reducing from a half of a peach to just a quarter of a peach. So the left side is gonna collapse down. To do that, I need to animate both the cross section and the main shape of the peach. So at three seconds is where that animation is gonna be. So let's open up to find the path property and then collapse in the cross section. And again, for this top point, it needs to go to 
where these guides intersect. If you're dragging a handle and it's affecting the other side, like the other handle on the other side of the point, then what you can do is go up to the pen tool, click and hold, and grab the convert vertex tool. And when you drag the handle with that, it only affects one side of the line. And now I need to do the same thing on the main shape of the peach. Okay, so here's what it looks like so far. For the next move, I want the peach to look like it's rotating, but also reducing to just an eighth of a slice of a peach. And then that slice is going to rotate in front of the pit, so it's continuing with that fluid rotation. There's kind of like two parts to this animation, and the first part is just going to take 15 frames or half a second, and then the second part will take another half a second. So let's work on that. First, I need to go to three seconds and set another path keyframe for the pit to be whole at three seconds. Then at 315, the right side of the peach needs to collapse in. In order to get to the path one, where you can just select it so you can select points on the path, you might need to close and then open the layer. So that's looking good, but I need to also animate the cross section of the peach in order to make this look like it's really rotating. So to do that, I'm going to go into the path property. I'm going to collapse this cross section all the way down to the middle line. For the top, I'm going to bring this point all the way down to this intersection here. That way it'll look like it's really rotating in 3D space, even though I'm just animating the path property. I initially just figured this out through trial and error. So we're almost there, but this main shape of the peach needs to also be animated to make it look like the slice is getting smaller. So on this path property, I'm just going to animate this into a smaller slice of peach. So here's what I have so far. For the second part of this move, I'm just going to animate this looking like it's rotating over to this side. So to do that, I'm basically going to expand out the left side of the peach and collapse down the right side. For this point here, I need to add handles. So I'm going to go to the Convert Vertex tool and click the point to add handles to it. The peach pit needs to be behind the slice of peach at this point. So what I'm going to do is at 3 seconds 15 frames, I'm going to cut this main shape with Command or Control Shift D to slice the layer at my playhead, and then I'm going to move this main layer above the peach pit. So now this animation looks right, but the peach pit is only a half of a peach pit and I want it to be the full pit. So let's copy and paste the keyframe where it's a full pit here, and then let's just paste it like somewhere before four seconds. That way we know that it's already going to be the full pit by the time that it needs to be visible. The next move is going to be to keep the rotation going. And this time we're going to see the cross section of the peach and then it will just kind of all shrink down behind the pit to disappear. I'm just going to close up all the layers by hitting U on the keyboard. And then let's cut this cross section so we can bring it above. and then go into the path property. And I'll set a keyframe for the cross section to be completely condensed on the middle line. And then moving to five seconds, it's gonna animate out so we can see it on the left side. I tried to get the shape of this cross section to match the shape of the main peach, but let's double check this animation because sometimes, yeah, like right here, it doesn't look quite right. So what I need to do 
is find the top point here, this one, and then at four seconds, that point is way down here, but I want it to be up here. So I'm just going to move it and let's see if that fixes the issue. Here the handles are really short, so I'm guessing that when it collapses into this line there's no handles at all. So I'm going to use the Convert Vertex tool to add handles and then hopefully that'll smooth out that line. So here's what this looks like now. One more thing is that the peach pit needs to be on top at this point. So I'm going to go to 4 seconds, cut this peach pit, bring it to the top. And then at this point, the left half actually needs to be collapsed into the line and then it will expand out. So I'm gonna set a path keyframe at five seconds for this to be a whole pit. And then at four seconds, I'm gonna collapse the left side into the line. Here's what I have for this part. Since this is only kind of like a quarter of a turn, I'm actually gonna speed it up. So let's make these keyframes at 415. And then at five seconds, let's have the cross section of the peach start to shrink down behind the peach. So I'm gonna animate the path property just to make it look a little bit more even. So it's kind of still looking like it's rotating. Maybe something like that. And then the main shape of the peach I don't need to see anymore. So starting here, it's not visible, so I can just trim the end of that layer. And then the peach is gonna rotate and let's also animate the scale of it so that it scales to hide behind the pit. All right, so let's close up all the layers and see what it looks like. The stem is just a line with a stroke. And then I also added this circle shape layer to the end of it, and I attached it with this trace path script, which is a built-in script in After Effects. It's under Create Knolls from Paths. So I selected the path of this stem, which is animated. So it's animated just to kind of like bend to make it a little bit more realistic. And then I selected this path, hit Trace Path, which creates this null layer, and then I parented this circle to the null. And then this circle layer, I animated the size property so that it is either a fuller circle or it kind of collapses down into just a flat line to make it look like you're seeing just the edge of this tip of the stem. So it gives it more of a 3D look. So if you look at the stem close up, you can see how that circle is there and then also the path property of the stem is animated. Also, there are a couple times when the stem is on the edge of the peach that I used a mask on the stem layer to mask away the parts that I didn't want to see. The final step after I had all of these main movements animated was to go in and add textures and stylize the look of this peach. Again, if you want to learn how I did that part, let me know in the comments below and maybe I can do a tutorial on that. If you want more tutorials like this, also comment below and let me know. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, happy animating.